you came across this question in your chemistry exam be it you are preparing to write the jump exam post UTME examination or any other chemistry related exams how will you solve it it is extremely very easy now let's solve together the question says by means of filtration one component can be obtained pure from an aqueous mixture of sodium chloride and now here are the options to this question it is very easy now let us analyze the question together because from the look of things this particular question is from the topic in chemistry which is separation techniques so it is extremely very easy now let's read again and get the question and understand the question so we can analyze each of the options to get the correct answer to the question it is extremely very easy now if you are seeing me for the first time my name is bright edo currently a fourth year nursing science student from the prestigious university of benin so let us solve this question together it is extremely very easy the question says by means of filtration this word i actually saw so you know know that this question is from separation technique now let's explain first of all we have to know what filtration is all about do you understand now filtration is a separation technique and all separation techniques have their respective principles to which they work do you understand your filtration principle is different from evaporation principle and evaporation principle is different from distillation principle and distillation principle is different from chromatography principles all of these mentioned are all separation techniques so how do we solve this question together it is very easy now we have to know that filtration as a separation technique the principle to which it works it works based on difference in sizes of these substances now just listen very carefully now the question says by means of filtration one component can be obtained pure from an aqueous mixture of sodium chloride now listen carefully now let's say this is a test tube just listen carefully this is a test tube and i'll call this test tube test tube a okay this is a test tube i'll call it test tube a listen carefully and inside this test tube a we have two substances two substances that we can actually see physical do you understand and let's say for instance the, uh, there's two substances inside one was at the bottom let's say the substance that was in the bottom was um you know they said sodium chloride so let's say sodium chloride was at the bottom you know sodium chloride chemical formula is nacl i believe you know this because i'm going to analyze the question and now listen carefully listen carefully so by means of filtration one component can be one component out of the options one of them can be obtained pure from an aqueous mixture of sodium chloride so let's say for instance potassium nitrate which is option a which is one of the components was mixed with sodium chloride let's say now this all part was potassium chloride for instance here was potassium sorry potassium nitrate okay and potassium nitrate let, let, let's just spell it potassium nitrate now you have to listen very carefully now this test to a and let me draw another test to i'll call this test to test to b listen carefully now this is test to b and on this test to b we have something at the at the at the top because since i'm seeing filtration we will need a requirement and it is called a filter paper very very important to actually you know perform the procedure so let's say this is a filter paper i believe you know how a filter paper looks like like a cone something like this i believe you know how a filter paper looks like okay let's say this is a filter paper now listen carefully this has to be so now let's say now they're not asking which of them can actually be obtained out of all the options which of the options can be obtained when it is mixed with this when it is mixed with this compound sodium chloride so now listen here is i'm analyzing option a listen potassium nitrate mixed with sodium chloride let's say we'll take this test to a and pour the content of test to a because we already know that it has two components listen 
So let's say we take this and pour it inside this text to B. Now, what do you think we'll get? Now, let me quickly tell you. Potassium nitrate is a compound that is soluble. It can actually dissolve inside sodium chloride. So when we pour potassium nitrate inside this test tube initially that contains sodium chloride, they will actually mix together. And what we pour it inside, both of them will definitely enter into test to be. And that's not what we are looking for. We are trying to basically separate one of the components out of this, you know, or out of this test tube. Listen carefully. So I've analyzed that potassium nitrate is soluble. You know, most compounds that are nitrates, they are soluble. Do you understand? They are soluble in water. Listen carefully. So when we pour this, both of them will actually dissolve inside the test to be, and that's not what we are looking for. We are looking for a scenario where one will be actually can be extracted, one can be obtained. So let's analyze option B, which is sand. So let's say now here is sand. This is sand. Now we'll pour sand. Let's say this is sand particles of sand. You know, you can see that the size definitely will increase. I believe you are following me. So here is sand. Inside sodium chloride, we'll take the test to A and pour it inside the filter paper. This is a filter paper. Do you understand? This is a filter paper. Now, what do you think will happen? Because I said that filtration has to do with different sizes of the substances that will be that will undergo the process filtration. So what do you think will happen? Do you think sand can actually pass through a filter paper? No, it will not. The sand component, sand cannot dissolve inside sodium chloride. The, and now, as soon as we pour this, you know, test tube A inside this test tube B, definitely the sand component will be retained here in the in the filter paper, just leaving the, the, the sodium chloride to actually, you know, enter inside this, be filtered, that's the word, be filtered inside the test to be. Now, this sodium chloride that was filtered, they will not call it filtrates. I believe they're following, you have to understand the right, you know, terminologies. So the substance that was actually filtered is now called what? A filtrate. Whereby the one that was retained in the filter paper is simply called the residue. I believe you are following me. So that's for that. So you can see that it is option B that is the answer to this question. Because option B, which is sand, can actually be obtained pure from an, an aqueous, you know, mixture of this compound, which is sodium chloride. So this is a nitrate. It still dissolves as well. This is a nitrate. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is a nitrate, lead nitrate, potassium nitrate dissolve. Sugar will definitely dissolve as well. I believe you are following me. So that's how this question is analyzed and answered. If you find my video lesson helpful, make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share my videos with your friends and anticipate for more videos on separation techniques. Thanks for watching. To have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of these type of questions, I already have them on the chemistry masterpiece, okay, which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry. So if you are preparing to write the jam exam, this book is very, very important for you. Now, for more information, getting the chemistry masterpiece, do well to direct message me via my WhatsApp number. It will be on the screen.